Hello friends, uh, welcome to Spark SQL video series. Uh, in this ongoing continuous Spark SQL uh, series, uh, previous sessions we covered DDL, DML operations. And today I'm going to start with a DRL, Data Retrieval Language. Uh, previous session, if you look at this DDL, uh, how to create database, create table, create view, and uh, drop database, drop table, drop view, we cover. Similarly, data manipulation, insert, update, delete, truncate, restore, plus merge, merge with uh, slowly changing dimension concepts, SD type 0, type 1, type 2, type 3, these are all things which we covered. And same notebook, which is available in my GitHub. Uh, my GitHub account name is Ravindra TAL and uh, repository is PySpark Telugu. So there you can find one uh, here, Databricks SQL DVC. So the same link which I provided, I'll provide in a, a video description. You can find this link in video description and directly copy this link, import your workspace, import your workspace. Today we will start with DRL data retrieval language or data uh, when it comes to query language query language or retrieval language commonly we will use as select queries let's today we will understand select so select is one of the class to select the data from a database normally rdbms so here also we will select data from file and it will process while reading and while displaying data to client it will process on spark so select is one of the class which you can use a hints all columns are distinct also you can use and from is another class from any table or view which you can use other classes like a lateral view pivot class where class group by class having class qualify class like this multiple classes are available multiple classes are available so today first what we will do will understand basic select query aliases for table aliases for table aliases for column names okay even column aliases also we can create even table alias also we can create so just uh, run all run all means i'm going to create a two tables here table one employee and i'm going to insert some data table two department i'm going to insert some data once the tables are available, which we can do, select queries. So select is one of the class, select, star, star mean columns, Col columns means all columns, star means all columns, from table name. So table name here it is the employee. And SQL is not a case sensitive language. Remember, SQL is not a case sensitive language. Python is a case sensitive. For PySpark library is a case sensitive, but here you can raise any you can write in any case. But always remember every class in a new line. So that's an easy way to understand, easy way to debug bigger queries. Easy way to understand, easy way to debug in a bigger queries. If you have more number of lines of the SQL code, if you write a, every SQL statement in a, every SQL class in a new line, it is easy to read. It is easy to read select for projection from for retrieving data from a table so from class will identify the table name select class will identify the column names let's run this star star means all columns so that is having eight columns employee number employee name job manager hire date salary commission department number it is having some 15 record the same data we will use for uh, multiple examples to understand SQL queries. Understand here. So we are going to use the same table to understand different basic concepts in SQL. Select for projection and from class for retrieving data from a table. Star means all columns. First, if you want to retrieve individual columns, you can go here and select employee number, comma, employee name, comma, salary. I want only these three columns. You see this. So only these three columns is going to retrieve data from a particular file, that table, this table. From class, identify the tables. Select class, identify the columns or expressions. Star means all columns from this table. Individual columns also, you can go and get that. Now, 
when it comes to aliases even you can create alias name for a table using as keyword as alias name any name you can use consider e so now when you are referring a column then you can specify e dot employee number e dot employee name e dot salary so i'm going to retrieve this column from this table when you can use this when you can use this if you are using a single table you don't need to use alias names for columns but when you are use joining multiple tables use table aliases while retrieving a column let's take another example this is another table department table which is having some department data okay department number department name department location this is employee table which is having employee data is having employee data if you want to both employees and their departments we need to join these two tables here that this table is having a primary case department number this table is having a foreign case department number so we need to join these two tables to get that consider i'll join inner join department on condition so when i'm using a condition right so department number equal to department number but what will happen here department number is available in both the tables so it is not able to identify which column which table you are asking so that is called column ambiguity is coming so specify if you don't have alias name specify table name directly table name dot column name table name dot column name this is one approach so table name also you can specify as a when you are referring the particular column this column from this table this column from this table then you won't get a column ambiguity but when we need alias names here if table name is like a 20 characters 25 characters 30 characters right so it referring is very difficult if you have a huge table huge number of characters in an object name instead of that specify two three characters as alias name as e this is this is as d so e as alias name for employee table d as alias name for department table instead of the table name you can specify the alias name here so in a condition basis also we need to specify alias names even while retrieving this star means you don't need to get any issues now you see department number is available in both tables but we specified a star when you go with the individual column employee number employee name salary department number i'm going i'm going for only these columns but these three columns it's okay it is not available in this table this column it is raising exception saying that that same column is available in this table in this table so we need to specify the table alias name from which table you are looking so i am looking for employee table so this department number is available in this table so these three columns anyway it is available only in this table you won't get any issues so these kind of scenarios we will prefer alias names always remember if a table name is having a more more like a 10 characters 20 characters 30 characters right always suggest to use alias name when you are using alias name directly you can go with as keyword or space both are same you can go with the as keyword and space if new developers are there if they will have a confusion what is this employee what is this e right then go with the as keyword then they will get some clarity okay this is the main table name this is alias name okay this is one of the option now i want to display this names as a different names consider the salary is sal is there i want to display as a salary so alias names you can display for column names as well you see this you can display alias names for columns salary and even you can display here employee department number so employee department number so i gave alias name if alias name is another name while displaying you see it is displaying okay if it is looks bigger one i'll use a employee underscore department number and then i'm retrieving another column name right so d dot department number then alias name as 
DEPT underscore department number. Then now both columns it will treat as a different. Now you see that I am using alias names. This department number is from employee table. This department number is from another table, department table. Even column also you can go with a without as keyword. Column aliases which you can go with without as keyword. And remember, if you are coming from SQL Server background or if you are coming from Oracle background, traditional databases will allow alias names as a single quote or a double quote. Okay, double quotes consider. If you are coming from Oracle background, alias names you can give in a double quotes. And when it comes to if you are coming from Microsoft SQL Server background, alias names you can give in a spaces like multiple words like this. But that is not possible in Spark SQL. Okay. Always remember if you are coming from SQL Server background, SQL Server will allow column names in a spaces, but here it won't allow spaces. The column name should be a single word. Even if it is a column name, even if it is an alias name, it should be a single word. Because Spark table, like maybe Delta table or maybe Hive table, alias names or column names, it should be a single keyword. But data frame, it will allow. But SQL, when it comes to column names, it should be a single word. Okay. This is one of the difference which you need to uh, understand when you are coming from SQL Server background. Because SQL Server will allow spaces. A column name can be two words. But here, it should be a single word. And then, you should not use a double quotes. For creating alias names, you can use as one one option or single space or space is one of the option creating alias names creating alias names. But you can use underscore. It should be a single word. It should be without spaces without spaces. So this is about a select class, then retrieving a columns columns, then from class from a table. Then we will remove this joint condition in which joints will cover separate session. Then I'll remove this one. Okay. Now I'll retrieve here as a commission. Commission is another column. Okay. Now, so here I want to create a new column. So even you can use the expression salary plus 100 as new salary so even you can use expressions and create a new column so on salary column you see this 1500 is salary i added 100 so 1600 you see this even you can add a two two columns like a salary plus commission as total salary total salary okay so salary plus commission so spelling mistake total salary but problem is here null is there right so here 0 1500 plus 0 1500 to 1250 plus 1400 so 2650 that's correct but salary is there commission they don't have a commission so it is giving a null but output also you see null is coming so this is called null data handling so null data handling we have a multiple options which you can use nvl function in sql which you can use a police function in sql remember just uh, how to convert null values to actual values in SQL. So we can use the NVL function or which you can use the Colise function. So Colise transformation is different in PySpark. That is a transformation to reduce the number of partitions. Here the function is available. You can use the NVL function and it's needed two arguments. And if the first one is column one, comma column two. So column one is null, it will return column two. If column one is not null, it will return column one only. If commission null, return zero. If commission is not null, return commission only. Okay. So I'll give you another column here. You will get a more clarity. I'll remove this department number. NVL commission comma zero as a new commission okay let's understand the difference because most of the people will have a confusion on nvl function now you look at this commission zero so not null if an nvl function this is a not null it will display that column only you see this 
if it is null then it will return zero so the data type is a decimal that's why it is displaying that but uh, zero zero means that value so what we are doing now salary if commission is there then salary plus commission the first one if commission is not there then take zero so commission is null then take zero 2850 plus zero that one so this is called nvl even you can use qualies so qualies which we can use n number of arguments it will take first not null first not null first not null means consider if i give a null then if i give another null if i give another null then what will happen it will take first not null First not null means the first not null if the column is having this is null then go to next null then go to next null then go to this if it is not null then it will take that if it is null then take zero so same so colleagues mainly we can use for multiple columns input nvl only two columns so if first one is null return second one if first one is not null return first one only okay so this is about null value handling two important functions in SQL, which available in most of the databases, NVL and Colis. NVL and Colis. So this is about a basic select statement. And next video, what we will do, we'll understand where class, we'll understand group by, order by, sort, multiple statements are there. So next sessions, we'll understand what is a filter or where class. Okay. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. See you in another video.